what we're trying to do uh, with these very short video clips is to show uh, the process of my sketching uh, scenes uh, on location from direct observation, which is, I th think, uh, is still a very important part of design drawing. Uh, drawing from life, drawing from direct observation, requires an involvement with your environment. Drawing it from life, as opposed to drawing from a photograph, makes you see much more clearly. You have to pay much more attention to what you're drawing. It makes you think about your environment. I want to make it clear, the, even though you'll be seeing videos of what I'm drawing, it's still not the same as being here with me as, and seeing the same thing that I'm drawing. Even if you were to stand by me and look out at the same spot, you wouldn't be seeing the same thing necessarily that I see. No two of us sees or perceives the environment the same way. So a lot of the drawing has to be has how you perceive the scene, not simply reproducing the photographic image that one would take with a camera. So I think what, that's, that's probably the most important thing. There's a difference between drawing from life and drawing from a photograph. In all of these, I'm trying to focus primarily on the structure of the drawing, establishing the setup, so to speak, of the, of the scene, where my boundaries are, how to capture foreground, middle ground, background. The uh, structure, tone, detail, I think are, is, the, is the process I try, to, I try to focus on, and primarily structure. Drawing by hand is a very personal thing, and the idea behind these videos is not to uh, teach people to draw the way I draw, because each of us has a style, a signature that uh, comes out naturally when you draw by hand. It's a reflection of your own personal perception, um, your own way of uh, drawing. So what I want to, what I'm trying to do is just outline a general approach, particularly in the beginning of a sketch, is setting the sketch up and then the follow through is really up to you. Uh, so it is a personal thing. It is not the same as taking a photograph. If you took the same photograph in the same position, they'd pretty be much all alike. Um, the other thing is, the, the object of the drawing is not to have a photographic reproduction of the scene. It's, and I, I like to say perhaps that there's no such thing as a bad drawing as long as you learn something by doing the drawing. So it's really a process of seeing learning, understanding, and remembering what you're drawing. So the product is not as important as the process you go through. And no drawing is perfect, simply because you are doing it by hand. Um, I also think that doing many smaller, shorter drawings is probably better, more beneficial than doing, spending a lot of time on a single large drawing. The difference between this edition and the last edition CD um, is simply to add more sections on freehand drawing. The uh, animations that existed in the, in the first edition are, have been updated, but the addition of these videos, I think, is, uh, uh, will make this CD more attractive because I think the interest in freehand drawing is gaining in um, popularity. So, uh, the, particularly drawing from observation, drawing on location, is becoming more popular. Drawing from observation, I think, remains important for designers because you can learn more from the environment by drawing it, by, by the seeing that that kind of drawing requires, I think is pretty important. Um, you can take a lot of photographs, but you might not learn as much as if you had to draw the scene and really understand the three-dimensional relationships and the forms that you're drawing, the textures, the colors, the values, the sounds, the, the experience of being there. The drawing of it just brings you up, makes it much more personal. The, I don't think that digital technology hasn't caught up yet with that kind of drawing on location. The kind of tools that I personally use, although you can use any tools that you want, is a simple fountain pen and a sketchbook. Uh, the smaller, the better. Uh, the more portable, the better. Um, some people say the best camera is the one that you have with you. 
and I would say the best paper and pen is the ones you have with you. So if you're not inclined to carry it with you, then you don't have the right equipment. So portability, I think, is important, particularly when you travel. The videos that you see here, uh, the video clips that you see, are all centered around the University of Washington campus. My office is just across the street, so it's a convenient place to draw. It has some amazing spaces as well as amazing structures to draw. So it's got a rich variety of, of subject matter and it's convenient. So that's why you, you're, we're drawing here.